Hey, what's up guys? This is ZK, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to create a custom load screen for your zombies map. If you haven't followed the other videos in my tutorial, make sure you do that because I have this whole series on how to create a custom zombies map. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need the rad video tools. They'll look like this. I have a download link in the description. So uh, you'll need that. And then the second thing you'll need is some kind of uh, um, movie making device uh, not device uh, application there we go uh, some kind of movie making application that can save a movie in Windows Media video format uh, that's d um, dot WMV is the name of the video format so you need something that can do that like Windows Movie Maker sometimes um so yeah I use Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum which comes um, factory installed on Sony via laptop so if you have one of those perfect and uh, so, yeah, that's those are the only two things you need. This thing can be anything, just needs to be able to save in Windows Media Video. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's change, uh, open up Paint, probably, if you, whatever you use to create a photo. You can create the picture that you want to use as the, as the load screen. And we're going to be working with video load screens because it's much more fun to have a picture with some audio in it or you can create a video yourself if you want to whatever but let's just I'm just gonna do a picture here so let's draw something weird uh never mind I'm just gonna type woohoo look at that masterpiece everybody wants that for their load screen don't they so now you wanna save it as whatever image I don't doesn't matter uh, just title it whatever you want to and uh, open up your movie making deal and you can put your picture in there here we go. So we'll put the picture in there. You can make the load screen last however long you want to. Um, the game will not start as soon as it's done loading. It'll just say click to start mission so you can watch the rest of your load screen if your loading gets done before this, the video is over. So uh, now that we have a picture, let's throw in some audio. Um, ah, there we go. <laughs> we all love this song, don't we? Yeah, maybe some of you don't. Well, I don't care. I like it. So I'm going to put it in. So match that up together, and uh, we'll have a Call Me Maybe test load screen. Uh, I'm going to make it shorter, actually, because I don't, I don't want to have to take so long to save it. So you can save it, uh, make a movie, save it to my hard drive. And uh, I'm just going to title it Test, and make sure Windows Media Video. You have to save it in that format. So I'm just going to save it like that, and render shouldn't take too long hopefully so basically guys when you use script placer 1.3 you notice that it plays that Activision loading screen if you don't have one that you've made yourself uh, that's because the game when it starts the map it's automatically looking for a load screen to play but since it can't find one then it will just play the Activision one. So here we're going to give it what it's looking for. We're going to give it a load screen that it can use. So we just got to wait for it to finish rendering. Sadly, I'm saving it in pretty high resolution, I guess. Maybe I should have brought it down since I'm just making a test video. So hurry up. Uh, this is the second to last video, guys, in the tutorial series. The last one will show you how to compile your map so it'll work. And uh, I've already compiled Nazi Zombie YouTube because I'm going to be showing you how to get this map to work. Close. Okay, finished. No, we don't want to save changes. Now open up Rad Video Tools, all right? And uh, find your video that you just finished saving. I titled it Test. So let's play it just to make sure. Windows Media Player. Okay, so that's what we want. So now uh, select it like that and click Bink it. And now you can open up this. Uh, audio compression should be set to 1. Okay, this should be set to 950000. And uh, leave everything else the same. And uh, title it Nazi Zombie. And then whatever your map name is. My map name is YouTube. And then another underscore. And then write load after that. Alright, so hit bink. And uh, depending on the length of your video, this shouldn't take too long. Maybe like a minute. It also depends on how good the resolution is. I saved mine in HD, which I probably shouldn't have done because then it takes a lot longer. But I don't know if you'll be able to hear the Call Me Maybe song because I 
I'm not recording through the speakers right now, so we'll just hope it comes in through the mic. I'll turn up the speakers so you make sure you can hear it so you know that it works when we launch the map. So we're almost done here once this finishes saving. Hurry up. Right now it's just converting it to a file that the game can read, a BIK video file. Hurry up, hurry up. And by the way, guys, this this is a load screen for solo only. Okay? It doesn't work for multiplayer or co-op or anything like that. It'll just work for solo, which, you know, kind of kind of stinks, but whatever. It's better than nothing. So hit Nazi Zombie YouTube load, the one you just finished saving. It's a BIK file now, and you want to copy it. It'll say the Rad Video Tools will save it to the same destination as the original uh, WMV one. So you can just do that. And uh, Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty World at War. And you want to go to Main. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Main. And then hit Video. And you can see all these BIK files. Bink Video. And here's Nazi Zombie. All these loads for different maps. And uh, you can just paste it right in here. Continue. And there's Nazi Zombie YouTube load. You can see here, Nazi Zombie Tutorial load. Prototype, which is Knocked on Toten. And uh, Factory, which is Deriza and Verukt. And here we have, uh, what's its name? Shinonuma, there we go. So anyway, now we are done. So now let's open up the game so I can show you that it worked. Providing the game loads. <laughs> Don't worry, it will. Just for some reason, it's taking a while. There we go. Running the game in windowed mode. run your mod and now if you've been following my tutorial series and you don't you haven't compiled your map yet then you can just create your load screen pop it in there and then go to my next video where I'll show you how to compile the map but here I've already done that so I'm just going to go right into it to show these other guys how it works so hit enter to launch your map and there you go and see here it says click to start mission. So it'll continue playing the video until the video is over. And then the level will automatically start once the video is over. Or you can click to just start it now. And hopefully you can hear the song. So there the video ended. And your map started. So there you go guys. Uh, that's your custom load screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it helped you if you were having trouble creating your load screen. So I'll be sure to subscribe and stuff because I am just starting here on YouTube and I've got my videos going and I need your guys' help to get this going. And uh, be sure to check out the other videos in my tutorial series where I show you how to do all kinds of crazy stuff. And yeah, that should be it. So this is ZK signing off, I guess.